What's up guys, it's Baby Hey and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, hi, I'm Haley and I'm so happy to have you here today. As you guys saw by the title of today's video, I am taking you grocery shopping with me. I filmed one of these videos not too long ago and you guys really loved it. I got so many requests for another one and so here we are doing another grocery shopping video. I basically ate everything that I had bought in and now it's like a couple weeks later and I need to do another full grocery shopping trip. So today I'm gonna bring you again to Whole Foods and Trader Joe's. Those are my two favorite places to go grocery shopping and I wrote out my list again. So one of my tips for grocery shopping is to go through your fridge, your pantry, your cabinets, whatnot, and clear it out with anything that is expired and see what you need to get. And then write out a list of all of the items. And I try to follow this list as best as I can so that when I'm grocery shopping, I don't really buy more than I actually need. It's so easy to go into the grocery store and just like buy a bunch of things and not have it really planned out so I kind of planned out some dinners that I want to have this week I want to make like chicken teriyaki I want to do some sausage with veggies and then I maybe want to do some like tacos or like grain bowls and then I also wanted to make these protein balls. I have been following along with Sammy Clark a lot lately. If you guys don't follow her, you should check out her Instagram and her YouTube channel. She has a lot of great meal ideas and a lot of good fitness tips and workouts and I just love everything that she posts. So I got a lot of meal inspo from her and that's how I kind of like created my grocery list. So I'm here in the Whole Foods parking lot. I'm gonna take you to Whole Foods and then after that, we'll go to Trader Joe's, but I'll show you my list up close so that you guys can either take a screenshot of it or write any of the ingredients down. So from Whole Foods, I wanna get under the cold section, oat milk, almond milk, yogurt, mayo, siete wraps, kombucha and celery juice. I've just been really craving some celery juice. And then for snacks, almond flour crackers because I messed up last time and didn't get those. Rice cakes and then under other for the protein balls, I want to get coconut shreds, chocolate chips, and then peppermint flavor for this smoothie. And then from Trader Joe's for fruits and veggies, I want to get strawberries, blueberries, Bananas, cucumber, carrots, onion, microgreens, spinach, arugula, broccoli, red pepper, yellow potatoes, and then for proteins, chicken breast, sausage, eggs, and black beans. For the frozen section, I need to get rice and blueberries, and then for other, I need to get some honey. I buy most of my produce, fruits, veggies, all that at Trader Joe's because it's cheaper and then just some other staples that I like to have at Whole Foods. I just wanted to say this before I get in there. My mask is from Kitsch or something. I don't know exactly how to pronounce it, but it was a three pack with that brown one and then there's like another neutral colored one and then this like lighter pink and they're super cute. I'll link them down below. I think you guys would really like them. I just love the neutral colors and they're really soft. It's also such a beautiful day. It's like 70 degrees out right now, which oh, we love. So I need to get shredded coconut for the protein balls and usually for my fruit bowls I use the coconut flakes but I'm gonna get this one for making those. I'm also gonna get these dark chocolate morsels. They're made with only two ingredients. There's unsweetened chocolate and cane sugar and they're free from all of these allergies which is so great and they are on sale. The other thing on that section that I need to get is peppermint extract and they have this one right here. 
So I'm gonna get this for making a smoothie. So I got the almond flour crackers, made sure that I got the right one, and I got rosemary and sea salt. They obviously have like black pepper and they have sea salt, but I thought the, the rosemary ones sound pretty good and they have very minimal ingredients in it. I also wanted to get some rice cakes and they have these thin stackers, the brown rice ones that are lightly salted and then they also have the red rice and quinoa. These ones have organic brown rice, red rice and quinoa in them and then these ones just have the brown rice and salt. But I think I'm gonna go with the red rice and quinoa ones. Now I've gotten everything from the snack section and the other section. So I'm gonna start getting everything from the cold section. I actually am obsessed with the Malk oat milk. It was so good, I really liked it. And the fact that it only has three ingredients is so cool. But I also wanted to try the almond milk one. There's the Malk unsweetened and then there's the malk unsweetened vanilla but I'm just gonna get the plain malk almond milk I don't know what is going on but every time I go to Whole Foods now they don't have the big thing of the unsweetened forager yogurt so I just asked if they could check the back to see if they have it because you never know but they do have the little ones that are on sale Oh, you're saving my life. Thank you. <laughs> With yogurt? <laughs> yes, I need this. Thank you. Perfect. Oh my gosh, you guys. I'm so happy right now. I also need to get some mayo. And they actually are out of the avocado oil veganaise. <laughs> so I am going to... I'm gonna, I think I'm going to get the soy free one. They have a reduced fat one, grapeseed oil, chipotle, and organic. But I think I want to get the soy free just because I don't really want to eat too much soy. I've also heard that the Primal Kitchen rosemary garlic spread is really good with avocado oil, but I want it for tuna, so I don't really want a rosemary garlic. I wish they had their like original one, but they don't. Maybe I'll get that one at some point. All right, next up on the list is the Siete wraps. They have the cassava flour, almond flour, and chickpea flour. I often buy the burrito size wraps, but I don't think I need that big of a size. I think I've had the cassava flour, but I have never had the almond flour one. So I'm gonna get this one. They also have all of these juices. I've never had the Suja brand, but I really wanna try it. They don't have just the celery juice one, but I think I'm gonna get the Mighty Dozen. Or maybe I'll get the Uber Greens. What's the difference? Actually, yeah, I'm gonna get the Uber Greens. It looks like this one has a lot less sugar in it. The last thing I need to get is kombucha and they are fully stocked with guava goddess. to write down these Beyond Breakfast Sausage Patties and I really want to get them. They're also on sale so I'm just going to get a box of these and then I also really like the links and all the other options in here um, but I really only need to get the patties.
advised by you guys to get the warm stuff first. So I'm gonna get black beans. Thank you. Thank you. I need to get some honey and they have the one that's in a little bear, but it's the multi-floral and clover honey. They also have it in a bigger one, but I feel like I don't need that much, so I'm just gonna get the 12 ounces. I mentioned in the last video that I really wanted to try this bread out. It's the multi-grain brown rice bread with flax, sesame, pumpkin, and sunflower seeds. Dairy-free and soy-free, so I'm gonna get this. I didn't get the English muffins I usually buy at Whole Foods just because I wanted to try out something new. I'm also obsessed with these Go Macro bars. They have a ton of different flavors. Coconut, almond butter, chocolate chips, double chocolate chip peanut butter, and then they have peanut butter chocolate chip. This one is my favorite, but these are just great for on the go when you're really busy and you just want something quick. They're really good, so I think I'm gonna get a couple of the peanut butter chocolate chip one. I totally didn't realize that Trader Joe's has the Suja brand too, so, and they have a ton of the celery juice ones, so I'm gonna get one of these so I can just compare and try the one that I got at Whole Foods and then also try this one to see what I like better. I know that a lot of you told me that kombucha is also at Trader Joe's, but at mine they don't carry the guava one, which is why I don't buy it here. So now I'm gonna start getting the fruits and veggies. Bananas are first, and these bananas are literally huge. I don't know what is going on. Like, are you kidding me? Like, literally the biggest bananas I've ever seen. <laughs> but, all right. I guess we'll just go with it. I also have blueberries on my list. And strawberries. Need to get a bunch of greens. So I'm gonna get arugula. And I'm also gonna get some baby spinach. Broccoli florets are on the list. And so is red pepper. I need to get a cucumber. Ooh, maybe I wanna try out these mini cucumbers. Cause I want these more for like a snack. Yeah, I'm gonna get these instead. And then I also wanted some carrots as a snack too, so that I could have like carrots and cucumber and crackers with hummus. I already have more hummus, so I don't need to get any. I still need to get onion, microgreens, and potatoes. It's so helpful to have a list because I literally walked right past the microgreens and totally forgot, but I love these. So good for a snack on cucumber and crackers or avocado toast. They have the bigger gold potatoes, but I think that the baby ones are a lot easier to cut up and then just put into the oven. So I'm gonna get this. Sometimes I get the red potatoes too. And then I just need to get a yellow onion. I got everything from fruits and veggies, but now I just wanna get some frozen blueberries for smoothies. Oh yeah, and the acai packets. Hmm. I feel like I don't need those right now. I'm just gonna do more smoothies this week. I'm just gonna get this one. I wanted to get some jasmine rice, but it looks like they're out. I'm definitely gonna get the brown rice then. I'm gonna get some chicken sausage. I've had this sweet Italian style one. It has red and green peppers and it's really good. But Camilla told me to get the sun-dried tomato with basil and tomatoes. So I'm gonna try this one out this time. And it's minimally processed, 
No artificial ingredients, no preservatives. I also just grabbed some organic free range chicken breasts and now I need to get some eggs. I got the eggs and now I'm ready to leave. I have everything that's on my list. Look at all those groceries. So I just got home and I know you guys really liked the full haul after. So I'm still gonna give you another full grocery haul. I feel like it's still nice to see because I obviously don't know if you could really hear me when I was at the store or if I just showed it too fast. So this way you guys get to see it again. So I'm gonna do Whole Foods first since that's the first store I went to. So, I got the dark chocolate morsels, Bob's Red Mill Coconut Shreds, Peppermint Extract, Beyond Breakfast Sausage Patties, the Siete Almond Flour Tortillas, the Simple Mills Almond Flour, Almond Flour, Rosemary and Sea Salt Crackers, and then two things of my favorite Forager yogurt. The Thin Stackers Red Rice and Quinoa Puffed Grain Cakes. That was a mouthful. <laughs> the Malk unsweetened almond milk and this one with the three ingredients has filtered water organic sprouted almonds and then himalayan salt and then the malk oat milk has filtered water organic gluten-free oats and himalayan salt but i'm so excited so excited <laughs> i'm so excited <laughs> to try the almond milk because the oat one is super good and I feel like you can use oat milk and almond milk for different things. So we'll see which one I like better. And then the Suja Uber Greens. This one has cucumber, celery, grapefruit, green chard, and lettuce. I kind of want to drink this right now. Should I just have it now? <sighs> I think I might as well try it, right? Sounds pretty good. Wow, that is so good. Now I'm like, I should have bought the big one. <laughs> the whole bottle only has 50 calories and five grams of sugar. But I just feel like I need to get more greens in my diet, so this is good to have, or to drink. And then the Follow Your Heart Soy Free Veganaise. I wanted the one with avocado oil, but I don't have it. And I think that next time I'm going to really try to find the Primal Kitchen Mayo. And then Guava Goddess Kombucha. I know you guys always want me to try other flavors, and I'm telling you, I've like tried all of them, but this is my favorite one. <laughs> so I just like to buy that one. I need to make space for my Trader Joe's. Got baby spinach. I almost said arugula, because I know I got arugula. Pasture-raised eggs. Strawberries. Broccoli florets. Microgreens, these little cucumbers, the minis, organic brown rice bags, carrots, frozen blueberries, the sun dried tomato with basil and tomato chicken sausages. I'm really excited to try this out. Organic free-range chicken breast. 
and then the last bag here is the arugula the gluten-free multi-grain brown rice bread this is the suja celery more honey i know you guys have seen my little honey jar but I need, I do this every once in a while. I just like clean it out and replace the honey because I feel like it, I don't know, gets weird. Black beans. The biggest bananas you've literally ever seen in your life. I don't understand how these are so giant. Blueberries. Red pepper, onion, yellow, potato, and then two of the Go Macro protein bars. That is a pretty good grocery shopping trip. I always get so excited when I get all my groceries because I'm like, ooh, what am I going to Make. Well, I know what I'm going to make, but like what I'm going to make first and I get to try it all So if you guys don't watch my vlogs like this is your first video You have to watch the vlogs so that you can see how I like everything Here's the stocked fridge with some iced coffee and milks, my eggs and the egg crates, and then tortillas, fruit, yogurt. I still have more hummus, pesto, and cream cheese. I did my proteins in here, and then some veggies, lots of greens. Got my little bowl with giant bananas, potatoes, avocado, and then in here, just got like snacks, and then my bread, obsessed with this pancake mix, and then just the other cooking stuff. Are you ready for my grocery totals? <laughs> at Whole Foods, I spent $72.64, and then at Trader Joe's, I spent $65.83, so, I basically spent like the same amount as the last time I went grocery shopping. And if you missed the video when I talked about Fetch Rewards, I have been using it and I just scanned my receipts. At Whole Foods, I got 400 points. And then at Trader Joe's, I got 150 points. So that's really fun. You guys should use the app if you don't have it yet. But I am going to close out this video here. So I hope you all enjoyed going grocery shopping with me and definitely let me know if you have any suggestions for these videos or if you just want to keep seeing more of them. But don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.